people finally kena double the repair cost. Tire also worn out, axle also spoiled. Hi guys, welcome to the Forklift Repair Series episode 12. Sorry, 12. This is a Toyota 5FD30. So this is a 5 series forklift and the capacity of this forklift is 3 ton diesel powered. As you can see, the rear tires and the axle has been removed. The two major repairs required for this forklift is number one, the axle is spoiled. So we need to send it for engineering, perform the repair works and only then we can fix back the rear axle. And the repair number two is to replace the rear tires which are already badly worn out. Actually, in this customer's case, uh, whenever we did the service or repair works previously, uh, which is a very long time ago, in the recommendation section in our report, we have already told them to replace the rear tires because it's worn out badly. But every time we insist, they always reply us with no budget, no budget, no budget. And then they use the forklift rear tire until maximum, until it was so thin. So finally, kena double the repair cost. Tire also worn out, axle also spoiled. Oh, checking with you. Can I take it? Take The axle was damaged because when you see here, this is a rear tire. The external part of the tire is soft to absorb the impact. But as it becomes thinner and thinner, the inner part of the tire is very hard. So when you drive the forklift on any type of surface, the hard part of the rear tire can't absorb the impact, which transfers to the axle. And this is why the axle gets spot. Remember, yeah, always monitor the condition and the thickness of your forklift tires, mainly for safety reasons, but also to avoid unnecessary repair costs such as this. Hope this video has helped you. Jumpa lagi and see you soon. Bye-bye.